memories are everything that make us smile or even cry. Memories are what we are today. Memories are everything we've got. And this is Memories Radio Show. Goku finally arrived in Greece and he met Tassos at Greek Otaku Radio. What will Goku tell to the Greek audience? We're going to find it out at today's Memories Radio Show. I'm the Saiyan who came all the way from Earth for the sole purpose of beating you. I am the warrior you've heard of in legends, pure of heart and awakened by fury. That's what I am. I am the hope of the universe. I am the answer to all living things that cry out for peace. Dear listeners of Greek Otaku Radio, welcome to another Memories Radio Show. You can hear our show every Wednesday, 10 p.m. to 11 p.m. at www.goradio.gr. Today, we will talk about Dragon Ball, and we have a special guest with us. He gave his voice to a legendary warrior and to a great teacher of martial arts. We're talking about the best voice of Goku ever and King Kai. In our radio show, tonight we have Son Simmel. Mr. Simmel, it is a great honor that we have you with us today. Welcome to Greek Otaku Radio. Oh, well, thank you very much. Tassos. Ta- well, how do you say your name? Tassos. Da- Dapadas? Dapadas. Da- da- how do you say it? Tassos Dapadas. Dapadas. Thank you, Tazos. Thank you. I'm, I'm very happy to be here. We're very glad to have you. You're welcome. You're a voice actor, voice director, scriptwriter in many anime series. What is your opinion about anime so far? Well, Tazos, I, um, I love anime. I've worked on a lot of different anime. I think anime pushes the boundaries of animation and concepts and animation and themes in animation more than... Uh, more than typical American style cartoons I can't really speak about cartoons from or animation from other countries other than uh, maybe some animation I've seen from France occasionally which is also quite good Um, and lots of people make great animation but uh, I really feel like anime really leads the way in terms of uh, pushing the envelope the Japanese are uh, exceptional at this uh, art form so I'm, I'm honored to be a part of it. Okay. When you took the decision to become a voice actor, was it a dream for you, or did you realize it later? Oh, well, I get asked this question a lot. <clears throat> and um, I, I didn't make, like, make a conscious decision to be a voice actor. I, um, it was an accident. There was an open casting call for Dragon Ball Z, and I was a professional musician, French hornist at the time. 
and my friends encouraged me to go audition for Dragon Ball, although I didn't even know what the show was at the time. Um, and yes, I did essentially realize the dream later. In other words, I, I came to work the first day, and I had always wanted to be a musician my whole life, but when I came to work, work the first day at Funimation to work on Dragon Ball Z, um, I realized it was a dream come true, that I, a dream I didn't realize I had, <laughs> if that makes sense. And so I, I started working and I was like, excuse me, I started working and I was like, um, this is the greatest job ever. This is better than, than even being a classical musician. So yeah, I did realize it later, actually. Okay, good. Which was your first role as a voice actor? Did you really enjoy the character? My first role as a voice actor was indeed Goku. That was my first audition. I was very lucky. So, uh, needless to say, I have really enjoyed the character. Although I'll admit that Goku is not my favorite character to play, but I love the character the most because of what he represents. Um, I can imagine other characters like Vegeta or Piccolo are much more fun to play. And uh, Chris Sabat, I know he really enjoys playing Vegeta. Oh, good! So Goku was your first addition! Nice! Thank you. Let's go to the next question. Is there any character that you didn't like in your career so far? Maybe because it was difficult for you? That's a good question also, Tassos. Um, I, it's, if I didn't like it, it, it was because it was difficult. I played uh, Black Doom in the Shadow the Hedgehog game, and I had to talk like this for 14 hours, and that was very painful, so that was difficult for me, yeah. Oh, very interesting. I would like you to share with us your best moment in your career so far. Um, I would say the D Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods uh, uh, movie premiere was probably the highlight of my career. Um, uh, on top of that, meeting my girlfriend through knowing people in animation would be would surpass that, but that might be considered more of a personal thing. Um, but as far as career highlights, doing the Battle of Gods film and uh, the release, subsequent release in the United States was uh, very, very, very rewarding, very exciting. That's awesome! What do you like to do in your free time? Oh, um, well, I am an avid uh, musician still. I, I don't play French horn as much, but I do play electric guitar. I play... Um, I also enjoy, I'm kind of a technical nerd, I, I enjoy researching uh, different audio equipment and making recordings and microphones and preamps and um, I play a lot of video games with my girlfriend um, and other people. I, I'm an avid gamer and, uh, and I like to jam on my uh, instrument and play with my dog. That sounds like fun. It is. I see. For the next question, I'm also sure of for your answer, but... If you had to choose your favorite role so far, who would be that? Well, uh, you know, Goku is definitely a special place in my heart for um, uh, its specialness in terms of it being a special, unique character that was my first audition. So it's, it's separate from everything else. But I really enjoyed playing Batman in the Dark Knight Rises iPad game and... Uh, um, I enjoyed playing Dr. Crowler and Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, GX, excuse me, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX and uh, Ojama Yellow and Batman. I already mentioned Batman. And uh, there's one more. Oh, and Sakamaru and Ninja Nonsense. I mean, it's, it's so hard to pick. It's really like picking your favorite kid in a way. It really is. Um, huh. Yeah, I can see that. I have 20 children. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> don't be so sure. Dear listeners, this is Sound Simul. Today at Grigodago Radio, we're going to have a music break with two favorite songs and we're coming back with more questions. We'll be right back. I, I don't have any time. It's oh. now or never. <laughs> KO, KO 10 times 3. three. <laughs> Let's see how he likes a Kamehameha! Kame! No, Kakarot! Prepare 
Prepare yourself for oblivion! Me! Galaxon! Back again at www.goradio.gr It is Greek Otaku Radio, the first anime web radio in Greece You can hear anime themes 24 hours every day And uh, we have a song symbol today with us, special guest We talk about Dragon Ball And uh, I would like to ask Mr. Simmel How did the Dragon Ball journey begin for you? Well, um, again, uh... It's a question I get asked a lot, and I, I, it's it's uh, basically there was an open casting call in the newspaper, and a friend of mine said you should, you do great voices, you should audition for the show, and the, the show title wasn't listed in the ad, and I just showed up, and they you know wanted me to mimic the Canadian cast for continuity, and that's pretty much how it started. Oh, that's amazing! Yes, thank you. I appreciate that. Let's go to the next question. What do you admire most in Goku's character? Um, well, I would say, you know, he's always positive and he never gives up. I think those are probably the most important traits Goku has. Yes, Goku is uh, like us. Uh, we never give up as well in Greece and uh, we have a great history, many beautiful things around. You know... I know. I mean, Greek history is rich and... Uh, amazing and has had a massive influence on the entire world to this day so I'm always been a big fan of uh, Greek history and culture thank you for that you're welcome um, Mr. Simmel I would like to ask you if there's any special scene in Dragon Ball series that uh, you like to share with us with Goku's voice well in the movie there is a scene that uh, Goku does a Vegeta impression um, but I'm not going to do that right now, only because I don't want to spoil it for you. And when it comes to theaters, if it does, I don't know if it's coming to theaters in Greece. Greece, excuse me. I don't know if it's coming to theaters in Greece. And I don't know if you, it will, if it comes to theaters, if it will be in English or subtitled from Japanese. But uh, if you get a chance to watch the English dub of the Battle of Gods film, my favorite line is practically my last line. But I'm not going to do it because I don't want to ruin it. But other than that. Um, you know, I like, I like to do, uh, I'm trying to think of the favorite, there's so much, there's so much stuff. Um, I do like the comedic scenes between Goku and Piccolo, and I don't remember that dialogue, but probably the scene where, uh, Goku, uh, there's a driving, driver's license episode, and then there's also an episode where Goku is being interviewed by a school, uh, to see if Gohan can be admitted to the school. Those scenes are very fun, but I don't remember the dialogue, so I can't reenact it right now. I'm sorry. That's okay. No need to worry about that. There's another question. I believe that no one can understand that is you behind King Kai's voice. What do you have to say about this character? 
and how difficult was for you? Well, doing Kenkai is actually pretty, pretty simple. It's pretty easy. It doesn't really bother me. <laughs> and I also like the fact that people don't know it's me because part of my rules for voice acting is that I don't want you to be thinking about me and I don't want you to know it's me because it will ruin your suspension of disbelief. So I want you to... Um, I want you to uh, think about the character only. So if they don't know it's me, um, that makes me happy. If they appreciate that it's me after the fact, that also makes me happy. So. <laughs> Perfect. Is there any character that you don't like in Dragon Ball series for some reason? Um, a character I don't like. Jeez. Uh, you know, I... As much as I love the actor who plays Frieza, uh, Chris Ayers, um, I, I, I never liked that character in story arc. I liked Cell more. Frieza's just annoying. It's just, I never liked that whole thing, and I was so happy when uh, Trunks sliced Frieza in half. Anyway. Beautiful moment, indeed. In your opinion, who was Goku's most dangerous opponent, and why? Well, probably... Cell, because he lacks empathy. You would, one would argue it's Beerus from the Battle of Gods film, but Beerus actually ends up not being too bad a guy. So, but he is the god of destruction. But probably Cell because he's soulless and you know an android, and the androids were probably the most dangerous because they have no connection to humanity whatsoever. Very good answer. Have you heard the voice of Goku in other languages? Was there someone that you liked most? Well, um, I've heard Goku in Japanese, of course, and Masako Nozawa is amazing. I've also heard it in Mexican or Spanish. Well, when I say Mexican because it wasn't a Spanish dub that would be made in Spain. It was made in Mexico. And what cracks me up about the, the Mexican dub is that, to me, pretty much every actor almost sounds the same, and it always sounds like this. And, and they go, ah, every time they yell, so it's, it's really funny. Um... But I'm sure it's very good work. Uh, I just can't understand it because I don't speak Spanish. But I don't mean to tease them, but um, I tease everybody. Um, I see. Um, uh, next question is coming, and uh, I would like you, I would like to ask you, if you could collect all Dragon Balls in real life, which would be your wish? Well. Um, that, you know, one would say you could ask for more wishes, world peace. Gosh, it's there's so many. Probably, probably more wishes. <laughs> Eternal life. I don't know. Meet, meet God if there is one. <laughs> uh, control the weather. <laughs> I don't know. They have a lightsaber. Maybe having the ability to use the force would be awesome. I always change my answer on this because I never, you know, my. Who knows. <laughs> That's a cool one, and uh, I don't know, if I had a wish to do, maybe I would like to go back to the past and uh, change some things in history that uh, today make us, uh, you know, suffer. That'd, that'd be cool. I, I, I do. Well, it would be, but uh, we're living it today, so we must try in this world. Yeah, yeah that's true, that's true. So, what else? Yes, uh, let's move on with the new question and tell me some of the meanings that Dragon Ball series passed to you. Well, Dragon Ball Z to me is loaded with a lot of deep meaning. A lot of it is to me based in Zen ideology, non-attachment and, uh, you know, that sort of thing. Based on the Great Journey West and uh, ancient Asian culture, I think, largely. So, uh, you know, there are a lot of Zen ideas and uh, ideas regarding conflict that it's passed on to me that I, I think uh, are very deep and interesting. Nice to hear that. And uh, I guess it's time to move on with the music break, to hear some music, favorite songs from uh, Dragon Ball series. And we're coming back with uh, Sin Simul at the end of this interview. We'll be right back.
Show this guy you do not mess with me and my friends! Okay, we're back, and uh, I would like uh, to ask uh, Mr. Simmel if you have ever talked to Greek Ondius in the past. Actually, no, I haven't. I, I've been to Greece, I've been to Athens and Spetsas, and a couple of cities I think in between there on vacation, but I have not ever been to a, a Greek anime convention. I have never talked to a Greek audience about Dragon Ball, ever. In fact, I'm shocked that I'm doing this interview because I did not know that uh, they would watch Dragon Ball in English in Greece uh, and that it was even airing there. So I'm very flattered and honored that, honored that uh, Greek people are watching Dragon Ball Z and it's, it's very wonderful. I'm, I'm, I'm very appreciative of that tremendously so uh, I want to thank you for that and with that uh, you answered the next question that I was going uh, to make to you if you have ever been to our country and which place did you like the most I did enjoy like I said I've been to Spetsas and Athens and I did enjoy Spetsas quite a bit Spetsas is a wonderful island um, Athens is wonderful also really enjoyed the food um, the people were great, really friendly, um, just really wonderful, wonderful country. I really just, if you ever get a chance, well, I'm telling this to Greek listeners, but I tell my friends, if you ever get a chance to go on vacation, you should go to Greece, because it's uh, paradise. Thank you, Son. I am very happy that uh, you liked our country. We really appreciate it. And I would like to tell me now something that uh, you always want to have with you. Well, what do you mean by that? Oh, I mean uh, a gadget, an accessory, something. I always have my cell phone with me. I always have my girlfriend with me. And even when I'm not with her, I always think about her all the time. This is very cute. Um, <laughs> a lot of times, though, I, I, I think of comedy things, too. <laughs> I tease her a lot. She's a very interesting character. Um, but yeah, usually my cell phone, <laughs> my glasses, because I have to see, that's, I can't see without them, they always happen with me. <laughs> that would make sense. Uh, what do you have with you all the time? Well, uh, first of all, I have, uh, my cell phone with me. Every time, you know, many works, I hear Greek Otaku Radio from there with the Android application. Uh, I'm wearing a bracelet with uh, the white side of uh, Yin Yang. My girlfriend has uh, the other half, the black one. And I also carry, you know, 
I also carry a gun with me so I can uh, <laughs> kill those who <laughs> annoy me. No, you don't. <laughs> yeah, just kidding. Yeah, you're funny. Okay, we're going to wrap up you soon. Good, good, that's good. No, I'm kidding. I I'm really enjoying this. This is great. <laughs> nice to hear that. Okay. Uh, let's uh, move on. Uh, I would like you. I would like to tell you that uh, we received so many messages to have an interview with you uh, from many of our fans. Here in Greece, we love you so much, and uh, I would like you to send a message as uh, Son Simil and one as Goku to Greek audience. <laughs> well, first of all, again, I, I'm surprised and flattered that Greek people at all have heard my work as Goku, and uh, that's really wonderful. Just, I can't believe it. And I want to say thank you to the Greek people and everyone who watches Dragon Ball, uh, our version of it. I, I'm, I, I love you all. That's so wonderful that you would uh, watch our show and appreciate it so much. That's, that's fantastic. And um, I, think Go I think Goku would just go, Where's Greece? I don't know. What? what? They like me in Greece? That's awesome. I mean, I don't think he... I don't think he... Um, he understands geography very well. Thanks, Greek people, for liking me! That's awesome! Like, what? <laughs> so, um, yeah, but... Anyway, unbelievable that I'm even doing this interview. Um, I don't do a lot of interviews, but the reason I did this one is because I've never done a Greek interview, and I was uh, impressed and flattered... And I wanted to apologize to you, uh, Tazos, for um, taking so long to get this interview to you. And I appreciate your patience. I've been really lame. And, and I, I tend to do that. I tend to not get back uh, on interviews a lot. Um, I don't really like doing interviews very much, but I, I did enjoy this one quite a bit. So um, I, I, I'm really grateful that you guys contacted me. And, and thank you for being so patient. It is our pleasure. And uh, don't worry about it. Uh, the as we say here, uh, the best things uh, are coming after a long time. So, uh, I would like uh, to make us a wish for Greek Otaku Radio. Well, my wish for Greek Otaku Radio is for Greek Otaku Radio to continue to go strong under the leadership of Tazos and that everyone is happy and safe and well and that the Greek people live long and have wonderful prosperity. So that is my wish. <laughs> for Greek Otaka Radio and the people of Greece in general. Thank you very much. And uh, I guess that um, sometimes the best things are coming to an end. And, uh, you know, I would like to thank you for being with us today. It will be an unforgettable day for all of us. Yes, it was unforgettable for me as well, Tazos. You know, I don't want to end it, but... Uh, we hope to see you one day in our country. I wish to you the best, many successes in your career and uh, happiness and health in your personal life. Thank you very much for everything. Well, thank you, Tazos. I really appreciate it. Thank you. I wish the best for you. Um, anyway, uh, <laughs> I wish for... <laughs> thank you. I wish the best for you also in your personal life and in this interview. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, this was uh, Son Simmel for first time uh, in his first interview in Greek audience. Uh, it happened here, it happened at Greek Otaku Radio and uh, Memories Radio Show every Wednesday at 10 p.m. to 11 p.m. We hear songs from the past here, uh, you know, old anime, cartoon, everything that uh, make us what we are today uh, we remember our years from the past and of course the best cartoons that uh, we have the luck to see in TV uh, many thanks to all of you that uh, you heard us today this interview is going uh, to be on YouTube uh, with uh, Greek subtitles for uh, Greek audience uh, so you can understand what we said today. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Mr. Simmel, uh, Mr. Son Simmel, that uh, he accept our invitation. It would be an unforgettable day for me. Be sure for that. And uh, I believe that this
this would be the best interview in my life. Uh, thank you very much. Good night, and uh, we'll see you next Wednesday on Memories Radio Show here in Greek Otaku Radio, www.goradio.gr. Uh, you can find us on Facebook. You can like us. Uh, find us on YouTube channel. Subscribe us there, and of course, you can follow us on Twitter. Uh, thank you very much for everything. Good night. Thank you, Taza. Thank you.